roof here and this is my crafter's companion hall number 45 or do I even need to say craft supplies I mean kind of always right um anyway I've managed to just kind of put it next to me instead of on my lap this time and um let's see if I can actually reach in because I'm kind of leaning off of the bed here so my thumb out of the way the rolls is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen items. But I'm putting bundles of stuff. So um let's see if I can tell you what's what. Okay, so um Let's go with the top paper pad, shall we? Um, that is the Raven Knight 6x6 on sale for two pounds and a half because the uh, up to 60% um, paper pads still go off. So, don't mind the, uh, the blue sheet. <laughs> I thought initially I wasn't going to get it. Because I don't really. Well, the, I mean, it is really pretty, but I don't really have much of an opinion on the uh, Arabian Nights kind of thing. But it is very pretty. But not a yeah, must must have for me. But I thought this would look absolutely wonderful in the Sheena's Through the Window collection, which I did buy in here. If you can see it somewhere in there. I think back there. Um, but anyway, so there's this one. And this one was also on sale. This one's from the kitchen collection. This one was a really, really... very good sale for, um... $1.99. Um, okay, so next up is the Myths and Legends 6x6 paper pad. Uh, I'm getting back to windows leaning over like that. Okay. These I got for the uh, through the window collection as well. This one was on sale for two pounds thirty nine. Retail is I believe five ninety nine. So I don't know if I'm gonna open them right now, but and then it's got some nice. I didn't really flick through this one at all, okay. so... Mm. It's got some very nice art in there, you know? So next up is the... <coughs> 12 by 12... No, no, not 12 by 12. An 8 by 8, 12 days of Christmas, topper pack. So like, these bits still that pop out. And bits you cut out, and like bits you can use as like a six on a six by six card type thing. It's only the first part, a few pages you can pop out. The rest you gotta cut by hand. And considering the uh, next Kendra's card challenge, I did have I do have the twelve by twelve of this pad, and I already cut it out for into six by six pages for the next Kendra's card challenge, so I can use this. Has to talk around those, so it's half the reason why I got this. Um, did I say how much that one was? Three pounds seventy four. And let's see, the next thing, let's see, that is not part of that. Okay, here is the feeling festive stencil set. Three pieces. The, the nice um, three piece set thing. So I mainly got it for this. For the snow effect I can do more with glitter paste or with my lunar paste or something. So this one goes well with the uh, Jingle All the Way collection that recently came out. And um, yes, so that's that. And that one. 
was $1.99. Um, instead of like $7.99 or something, I think. Which is very good. And so I'm going to be sure because I believe this is what I'm looking at. It's coming from a different stack of things. Okay, this is on its own. Here's a from the Oh Holy Night collection Shining Brightly 2D embossing folder. I couldn't pass that up, you know. The Star of David there. If I remember correctly. That is what it's supposed to be. Or Star of Wandering. Whatever. But yeah, another embossing folder to add to my collection because I love embossing folders. As you probably tell from my previous haul video, I haven't sorted them out yet. Still on the bed. Well, I am recording this the day after because I fell asleep while I was taking pictures. Um. <clears throat> that was on sale for 99 pence. Next up, um, I think that was something else. So was that. Okay. Let's do the Okay. Here we have Baby Blue for our Oat Pig Pigment. We have Pine Tree. We have and some more are opaque, opaque pigments. And I got these two water reactive green topaz. And it's the right way up, noir black. I like the uh, water reactive effect it has on there. Those are over here. So I'm gradually building up my pigment and water reactive stuff. <clears throat> okay, so the opaque pigments were $2.50 each. The water reactive dyeing pads were $4.19 each. And this thing right here that I've been waiting to get, my last one, unless there are others or out of stock, and I have no idea they existed. It was on sale for $4.99, and retail was $9.99. So here is the Floral Meadow. So this is the last one. And last, obviously, as I just said, there were others in a different collection that I never knew about, so I, can, so I don't have it on my list. Let's see, we've got Rose Pink, Jasmine, Tulip, Gold, Crimson, Sunset, Red Green, Meadow, Verdant Green. So I do know, I believe I do not have a Rose Pink or a Jasmine, I think. I'm not sure about a Tulip, but uh, I'm not sure about Verdant Green, but I'm pretty sure I at least one of the others. So uh, obviously this is Tricolor Aqua, so I like this is a watercolor pen with three bits in it, the three, three colors in three pens, so there's nine colors in total. So that's that one, so I'm very happy, I've got the last one I needed to get, unless they can out with some more. That's my full set syndrome talking, you know. <laughs> um, anyway, I already set the price on that one. Okay, so next up, we have this. The Gemini Expressions Alphabet. Uppercase Alpha Set. I believe I have the numbers. I don't know if- did they do lowercase? Because they got uppercase specified, you know? So they might, might not. And they each come with a shadow die as well. There it is, there it is. And that was on sale for $4.99.
can't remember what the retail was, but it was way more than that. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, that's what the other thing was. That was part of a show so Okay, so, let me get this. And this, let's see, is this the last thing to be set on its own? No, there's still one more thing. Then we got a bundle. Two bundles. Yeah. Okay, this is a 12x12. It's our signature. On oh, sale for $5.99. It is. Ta-da! The Snow Queen. This is uh, last year. Huh. So that's nice. I won't be opening it, obviously. But, but. Mm. Very nice. I thought some of these scenes would be nice for the through the window collection. And that was a whopping £84.95. And um, well, I might as well say the uh, magazine number six showstopper was a 40. So, should I? Okay, let's come. Uh, she's probably... Oh, hang on. The one thing that I still have to say that wasn't part of the two bundles I just said was the Spectrum Noir Glossy Highlights. Clear, 60 ml. So for three pounds. I think it re retail is $5.99. I've never used it before, so I thought it'd be kind of Cool to try out on something. Add an extra pop of dimension with this durable clear gloss coating. Also perfect for sticking small items. Okay. I mean, I guess I could coat, like, you know, a, a pin with it or something. You know, like a resin or something, maybe. If it's a type of thing, maybe. I mean, technically, I have a resin to coat resin. So, I don't technically need to, but it's kind of cool. Clear 3D medium. So, I could like, make a cupcake and do color it and go over the icing or something like that, or ice cream. Well, you know, could be anything. Okay, so, the showstopper. I got this. So, large 3D foam kit. Pieces. 20 piece, so 20 pages. I guess. Then square pads, you know, more rectangle. These are large ones, so. Oh, actually, there's some small. I guess it's the. All the size? It's like there's a small ones here, larger ones, smaller than the larger ones. I'm guessing these ones here would be, I don't know, but they're different sizes, so that's nice. Never count too much foam tape, I'm not full on using. Because, like, for instance, for now, this one used to be, I don't know, that much bigger, maybe? So I'm getting down. I do have some foam on a roll next to my desk over there. Well, on my desk, I can. haven't used all that up, but that's obviously a thicker dimension height. You know what I mean? Okay, so the next thing in this showstopper bundle, I think, was this. 
engraved tape pen. The uh, EOG. Not the ever showed one. Then this one. Kind of cool. We got a luxury gilding flakes. And sun glow, rich copper, and very dubious. Nice. I haven't used any of them yet, but it's on my to-do list. <laughs> so that one was free in the bundle. Next thing that was free. I need to use all of mine from the original. Um, red free, uh, Luxury cardstock pack, glitter mirror, matte mirror. Personally, I think I love the matte mirror better. I mean, I think sometimes it's called a satin as well. But like, if you can sort of tell, this is I think the matte. This is a mirror and glitter, obviously. But yeah. Then with the main. I'm using this as a showstopper. Here. Crafters Inspiration Issue 6. At least the box. And the box version. I don't know if they actually did the other version from the other magazine. You know the other. Uh, I mean, I still have it next to this one. So this is issue 5. Right? This is issue 6. But on the. Um, I have see it looks different. It's not a different packaging. But um, on the uh, preview thing on this one, it had some other preview that's not this, which I kind of really wanted to see about because that looked really nice. And look, look at that. The box is ripped. That's well, not too bad, I guess, but I do like keeping the boxes. At least. You know, cutting out the bits that I like. But anyway, in this, there's a 6x4 embossing folder. Mistletoe by looks of it. We got, what's the word? Christmas bells. Well, I wasn't just reading them. We have a nice big stamp set. Snow, snowflake stencils. 32 page paper and topper pack. Very nice, very nice. And obviously all the inspiration that comes in here. So it's got tape on it. Mm. Oh yes, the back. And these I believe are what the papers look like. You know what? I'll just open it, shall I? Yep. Retail is $14.99 if I wanted to get up on myself on its own but I got it with the other stuff so that was uh, 40 as I've said before. Let me just open it. I need two heads for that. Okay. Sorry for the shaking. Sometimes my hand just shakes for no reason. So here is the Christmas bells. And we have the snowflake stencil. Five by five. And the mistletoe embossing folder. Very nice. They actually have a mistletoe one. And this. Very nice. From their show, it says that these two layer on top of each other. So, like, may your days be merry and bright. You just like stamp over top of each other. Or you just do. May your days be. Then, like, there's a merry and bright sentiment up here. Let's see. Sending happy seasons, happy Christmas greetings, and this is an end on its own. Think of you at, say, Christmas. Uh, have yourself a happy new year. You know, holidays, bright, and wishes. Christmas cheer. Festive. From our house to yours. Little 
Mary. The first Noel. Holly and Ivy. And a scroll, which is half the other half of the reason why I wanted to get this besides the mistletoe and blossom folder. Because I like the scrolls. And I still need to get that scroll from the Holly and Ivy set. So I'll wait. So I do have a different other scroll or something else too. I don't normally get, you know, double things, but they got different artwork on it, you know. So. Yeah. So that's that. And this comes with oops, various this stamp thing, I think, or at least something similar, is in a uh, a different magazine as a freebie. Um so like you got your uh, advertisement for the Gemini Mini. I'll go through everything I just say, but some inspiration, step by step things. I'm just like what, what you'll need and the step-by-step -step stuff and some tips oh this is a note um i won't go over all of it let's see where i get off oh, it is This one and this one, I think. It's kind of one of them. Anyway. Oh, I got the first one too. Still need to use that. Anyway, here is the top of our We got some of that Christmas, peace and joy. Have a wonderful Christmas time. May your Christmas be magical. Joy to the world. Lovely picture here. Some presents. That can be like. Is that a six by six kind of sort of cut out there you can use? I don't know. It's kind of like happy holidays banner there. Got some more things. Very nice, very nice. So those are the top of parts. Got some nice bits on the back. Kind of pity they're just not one sided because then I don't have to worry about cutting the other side, you know? Give you two of each. Oh, this is a glitter glow. And puffy snow up there. That's cool. Nice cards and whatnot. Getting to know. Using the dye Anyway, 
Alright, an advertisement for their luxury card stock packs. Anyway, yeah. That's the same as the back of the box. So that is that one. We need to get out the next bit. Okay, last but not least, this is the last part of this haul. Which is getting getting on. Um this is Shino's through the window collection. So here we have the window die as well as the embellishment bits and the foliage bits and the side. You know? If you just like if you just had that like open like a door, you know, kind of lift as well. But um Kind of reminds me of those old greenhouse kind of doors. At least the one on Harry Potter or something. Like they have like a little wooden sign right here. Anyway. <laughs> I suppose. I don't need to look out for anything I got at all. Anyway, eight metal dies included. Excuse me. But yes, so this is the main component. This is a separate bit, as well as this bit, and then there's the outer deck. Okay, so next up is the inside wall, or traditional wallpaper. Embossing folder. I think it's 2D. It doesn't really say, does it? I think it's 3D, maybe. Next up is this stone wall. A very nice brick wall. If I knew this was going to come out, I probably wouldn't have gotten the one I got a while ago from the scrapbook.com. But anyway, it's good to have two, I guess. And I think there are different sizes, so. Okay, so this was the three embossing folders and the die set. <clears throat> Celebrations window. Stamp and die set. Those are the stamps. You got birthday, congratulations. That looks great. Retirement to celebrate. Happy for you. Let's see. And there's a die set for present. The wine bottle or champagne bottle or whatever. And the balloon as well as the banner bunting thingy. But not for that or the center. Where's the eye Johnny? <clears throat> Very nice Easter window. Yes, very, very nice. The die set is for uh, this Archie bit, the eggs, and the basket. That's a very nice scene with daffodils as well. Um, also comes with happy, with love, and Easter. And as I said, three Easter egg dies to go with those stamps. Don't know if you need to or want to see the code, but I'll give it to anybody, you know. Here is the Halloween window. The witchy feet. A ghost. A group of ghosts there. A jack o' lantern. Cobweb and spider. 
What's the word? Broom. Woohoo! Halloween. Boo. Happy. And a die set for yeah, these. It's not for the sentiments and the gifts thing. So obviously that's like the main background you'd see through the window as I did. Anywho, last but certainly not least is the Christmas window. There it is. This one has an arch on the top as well. Like this. These poinsettias and holly, I think. Or just holy Christmas balls. Were there something? Just normal foliage. And some more branchy bits from the, like from a fir tree. We got Happy Christmas, Santa's boots and hat. The uh, button is beat up. The uh, hot cocoa and candy cane thing. A little scene outside. I guess that goes, that's an entire scene there. <laughs> um, take away off. That's why he's got his feet propped up on the window. Happy holidays and it's cold outside. And it should be cold if it's still on it. Because if you can't feel that, that's, that's, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. That is everything. Oh, thank you for watching. We'll go down.